pass on the mythos. It's one fifth scale. Um, one fifth scale, not one fourth scale. Mythos Darth Maul from Sideshow Collectibles. Now we do have this on Collector Zone. Uh, we're gonna go over that again, obviously. Collector Zone does have him. Um, go to his website. Gonna be in the link down below. He will have him. It's gonna be up um, for six eighty nine shipped. And then you get 5% off with my code, and that's a ton of money saving right there. He does payments, so you guys who want payments, you use that code, easy CZ, and you get payments if you need, and then um, you get 5% off of the statue, which has 689 shipped. Sideshow might show a little bit, show a little less, but um, retail is going to be less, obviously, but this is shipped, and then 5% off, you're, you're saving a good ton of money. So use that code, easy CZ. Talk to, talk to him over there at Collector's Zone and uh, let him know. So today we're looking at the Mythos um, Darth Maul. Now, we don't have him up on the website and such because I am doing this a day early, but I do have pricing and I do have um, uh, pictures, a little bit of pictures that will go and show enough of what I need to be talking about. Now, um, I got to say, um, we're starting out on, on a foot, out on our feet, foot over here, All right, get it? But um, the, 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 the statue is nice. It's nice. Now, I want to compare it, talk about it a little bit first before I start going over pictures and details and what he is. It's nice. Now, Asajj Ventress was, I think, it, she was going to be around 6, I want to say around 670, 650 to 6, 650-ish shipped. Um... But Maul is, it's way up there for what he is. Um, he's way up there for the amount of stuff that is like sculpted on him. The base and he, his pricing is a wee bit high at Sideshow. I think he caught on to a lot of people pre-ordering these statues and especially Darth Maul coming out with the Clone Wars. And now they throw Darth Maul at us with this robotic looking one, cyborg dude. Um, I think that Sideshow is getting us a little bit. But... I, I kind of want to give it to him because I'm like, maybe their paint apps are going to improve and maybe they're not going to be as soft anymore. As far as looking at this right here, um, this is looking awesome, just the base alone. So maybe there is improvement. Maybe there's something that I'm missing, but I really do think they're a little bit high on for this one as compared to something that was just released like Asajj Ventress. But enough of that. Um, this is the base for the Darth Maul Mythos statue. The base is obviously going to be looking at like a stone uh, sculpture where you have Palpatine right there. And I don't know, he's like stepping on his, his foliage, manhood. Um, but when it comes to bases, stones and rocks is the easiest to do because it's a lot of dry brushing. It's easy to paint up and stuff like that. So that's where I'm coming from, where Asajj Ventress's base was like epic. Asajj Ventress's base was literally a skull and, and all kinds of... Dathomir stuff. I will find him. Dathomir. And stuff like that. So it looked, it looked really good. And this is where I was like, why is this so expensive as compared to Asajj Ventures? So with that being said, I mean, we can look at the minute details here and there. It looks really good in the crevasses of the base and stuff like that. His, his little toes. His toes is kind of like mine where the middle one is bigger than the big toe because my big toe is shorter than my middle toe that, that's a fun fact about me if you want if you really want to see it i can put it in the here we have the official look of him here's the whole look of him and he just looks amazing i'm i am surprised about the posing abilities that they did on these guys and then you look at palpatine and you wonder uh sideshow what happened what happened to your posing statue abilities what happened to your sculpt man because as far as palpatine goes i mean he's an old dude he's not going to be doing backflips and stuff like maul or Saz ventress but then again like i mean something else that just looks stupid palpatine's pose i don't know there's something about that pose that just ruins the whole thing about it and i just i just refuse to buy him i've always been contemplating 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 i'm like should i should i should I? but then i come to a conclusion and say no so when you look at this guy, um, also release day. I didn't say release day. Release day is going to be like a year, obviously, from now. It's a year. It's any. It's a given. But um, <sighs> the pose is amazing. 
And I love what they got going here. This must be like a PVC vinyl. I don't know if it's going to be like that, but vinyl PVC, something like that, because these fabrics are going to be a bit more fragile. And I'm thinking this is going to be made out of a mixture of resin and polystone, just like Asajj Ventress or um, Palpatine was. Um, so this, I hope this is going to be polystone throughout. And then like you have resin maybe on the cape and resin on the saber but i want this to be a nice hefty statue i want it to feel quality for what the price you're going to be paying damn near 700 dollars. but if you use five percent off with easy cz at collector zone you save a lot of money and stuff like that so i want it to feel more of a materialist like a very materialistic guy and want quality out of something like that you know you know i mean if you're paying that much i want quality so Looking into details, he's going to be interchangeable with the head, and you'll see that down the road. Um, but you can see, like, veins. And with Maul, there's always going to be tattoo sculpt. I don't know why. I think, to me, it looks better with that tattoo sculpt. But as you can see, he's got that little neck neck brace tent thing going on here. And then he has the little shredding out hand wrap gauntlet thingies. And then it's just, it's a really nice pose. Sideshow really got the pose. They, I mean, they really got that menace in. And th th what I'm glad about it, too, this is a Clone Wars-looking um, head sculpt. It's a very... It's a little bit older than the prequel, Episode 1, Phantom Menace. Obviously, he's he's in that stage. This is the Clone Wars... I think they they kind of just Clone wars him, but they just rebranded Mythos. So, um, with that, it just looks epic. And obviously he has his double wielding blade, which is awesome because it looks like it emits something instead of just a straight like rod coming out of both ends. So I like that they had some flavor to it. Here in some more real light, you can see where the veinage is going on around here in the muscle sculpt sculpture and all the details in the shading. And the body shading alone, I like what's going on. It's not flat. It's not that ugly looking stuff. You have some weathering on his cape and stuff like that. And it's just, it's a nice looking stuff. As you can see, like his kneecap has a bit of weathering. And that's what I hope Sideshow is charging us because they're going to keep their promise. And I hope their pro prototype is going to look exactly as the final product. And man, it, if it does, there's just tons of detail going on. As you can see, there's like sculpted tattoos, which is not real, realistic. But it looks a lot better. It just gives a depth and HDR vision to the figure or statue in this in this point. So the head sculpt is amazing. The head sculpt is just downright amazing. There's nothing wrong about it. Enough hornage. He's horny enough. I like how horny he is. He's not like that little. He's not little horny. He's like medium horny. So that's not that's that's a good thing that like you can see us later down in his life where he's gone a little bit hornier. And then you show a little close-up of his arm here, and then you can see, like, he always has gloves on. And then here you can see the detail. They didn't do the sculpty uh, look. They didn't continue it here, which is kind of okay, I would say, because, I mean, it would look weird down in here for that sculpt to be going around. But then we can see a little bit of close-up on his teeth and the way he's, like, grinning. He's a snarly guy. He's a bad-looking guy, so that's what he's going to have. And you can see the vein sculpt in here. I really hope this doesn't get softened up. I'm really worried about Sideshow's um, quality when it comes to the final product. So that's my thing. I've never had a Sideshow side premium format or Mythos line, one-fifth scale, anything above. But I do. I did deal with one-sixth scale. And, man, the, de the details were good, but the freaking product's quality was bad. I mean, they had... um loose joints and such so i really hope they they improve on this for the price point now this is the crazy version of him which is very scary looking and probably the version i'm going to display this guy is downright devilish i mean this is a demon straight out of compton i don't know why i said compton sorry if i offended anyone this guy he's just the sculpt on this is amazing so i don't know if i'll i'll display this one or this one because this one is really good like this is really realistic and good when this one is more of a animated cartoon clone wars take but it doesn't look animated they've really expressed the eyebrows and the creases and stuff like that that's the stuff i swear if that goes soft but the horns the horniness on this guy is really good um 
interchangeable heads is all I'm seeing for right now. But man, look at the details and all that stuff. It looks really good. It looks really muscular and nice. So far, I'm liking everything about the statue besides the price. The pricing, I'm just... I'm holding off on the pricing of I'm complaining because it, it, it does take a lot to paint these things and make these things. So it's kind of ironic how he's stepping on uh, Palpatine because Palpatine just owns him. And that's the only thing he can destroy of Palpatine is a statue. But other than that, the statue looks simply amazing. I mean, you can definitely tell that's Palpatine. That's a statue of Palpatine. I mean, that's the that's the little brooch right there. And then his hood and that's his ugly camel tor tortoise looking neck. And then his eyes and stuff. That's Palpatine, obviously. So uh, a little bit of hate relationship right there showing, which is pretty cool. Good idea on the base side show. I like that. And then the rear of the figure, which they're not shorting you out. Oh, let me zoom in on this guy. Look at that. It's nice, huh? Look at all that detail. You can see a little bit of the details in Palpatine's wrinkles and stuff. But obviously it's a stone statue, so they're not going to go into crazy detail with it. And then here we have the back of the statue, which still looks just as amazing um as a front and you have all this like i'm glad they didn't go fabric i love the sculpted look of um when it's on statues it has to be sculpted that's another problem i had with the palpatine it wasn't sculpted stuff it was just a uh, fabric it was like what am i paying for here you know <clears throat> so with that being said the back of the guy looks just as amazing as the front his saber just amazing looking all ignited and here we have close up of the two portraits so that we can switch out um that's just drastic that's drastic you got the other side looking up and the other side looking down his earring over here his ugly teeth the, the amount of detail the skin texturing it's just all looking good from here there's nothing bad about it that they really they really nailed it on this guy as far as the horns go those are sick I really do, Sideshow. I really hope you deliver on this guy. I really hope you really give it to us and give us a good product here. But um, uh, that's the two interchangeable portraits. And then here we have the last picture of him, just like so. So with that being said, I'm going to buy this statue. It is pricey, but I already have Asajj Ventress. And I wouldn't pass up on this guy being a Mythos because the Mythos line is just going to skyrocket. This is a Grail out of the gate. Not even sold out, still on pre-order, and it's a Grail out of the gates. You're going you're going to get your money's worth if you even sell, try like buying him and then you sell it. You're going to get your money back. That's for sure. It's Darth Maul. So if you have like having a Saj Ventress and then Darth Maul... They're doing a little pyramid here, you know, like a family tree. So Dathomir, witches, and ghouls, which is pretty cool, and I like that. So that that being said, I love it. I love it, and it's it's a must get for me because I already got the Saj Ventress, and now I'm going crazy on these. But look at that head sculpt. It really looked the paint texturing really looks like a human, like skin texture. It's not like shiny and glossy. They got the textures right. That's what I like about statues. They get really get the paint, really get the paint in there. And this is really realistic for Mythos. It's not like the Mythos line back then where things were a bit off looking. Things were a bit weird looking. Um, things were not quite right. And with this, it's it's perfect. As you can see, everything here is perfect. Like, um, who was it? I think the Mythos Obi-Wan is a bit cartoony. Um, the premium format one was a bit cartoony for me, but these, the ones coming up now, is just all so nice. It all looks so good. So, with that being said, it's a buy for me. Save 5% five, 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 five on CollectorZone.com using my code EZCZ. Um, I'm shouting that out a lot because you guys can save a ton. You, a lot of people are still buying from other manufacturers, but it's fine. Do whatever you want. But you can save a ton, especially on a statue like this. Man, it's a good-looking statue. Must buy.